So today I want to talk about what Steve Jobs said regarding Flash and the Mac. How it was probably the number one reason that the browser crashed on a Mac. Uh, what I want to do is I want to show you some videos, some Flash websites, and just show you how bad it is on the Mac. This is really something that kind of demonstrates what Flash does to your computer. So I'm going to showcase a few websites I want to crash my browser. Show you how real bad it is. All right, so I'm on my Mac and I'm in the Safari browser. And I'm over here at the Adobe website and I'm checking out some of their HD video. And as everybody knows, you know, Flash video doesn't work that great on Macs. So let's just watch one and see what it looks like. So it's all based on, so you see a preloader, it's kind of moving along here. And there you go. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Wow. So obviously, you know, it's going to crash my browser any minute because it's video running in Flash on a Mac. Any minute, it should crash. Wow. Cool. That's pretty nice. Okay, so, well, obviously, we know Flash games will crash a browser. So I'm over here at supergeekgames.com. It's got a ton of Flash games, and obviously, you know, they're just going to be poor user experiences. Let's pick one here. All these advertisements. Of course, Steve Jobs said that really developers need to be paid for their work. I want to go full size and see what this looks like. Start. This one's really cool. You uh, try to connect blocks. Oh, whoops. There we go. That did it. That is cool. But any minute, this is going to break my browser. I know it. Let's see. This is pretty cool. I mean, for a flash game. That's fun. Alright, well, anyway, you get the idea. Flash, tell you what. Alright, so we got video. What else? Oh, yeah, there's this website over here. It's uh, aviary.com. And supposedly, they've got this uh, audio editor and. For sure, it's just going to blow away my Mac. I mean, it's obviously not meant to be an audio editor. So this loads up, and here I am in Flash. If I right-click, you can see I've got Flash Player 10. And what do we have? Well, it's loading up a bunch of samples. If you've ever... It kind of looks like an audio editor that you... You know, you got the WAV files and everything. Yeah, it's loading in. If I had a faster web connection, this would go faster, but I'm just on DSL and occasionally it gets kind of slow. But uh, this is definitely, I imagine this would crash my browser in a second. Look at this. That is pretty cool. It's got this uh, overall view and then uh, samples so you can like create Remixes. Let's see what it sounds like. Wow. That is pretty fun. Check it out. You can change the volume. You can change the length. You can adjust the volume of that track. Wow. <laughs> Flash. What a joke. And look, oh wow, I can, it'll let me record. Hello, check one, two, check. This is Brent coming to you live from his Mac playing Flash in Safari. I'm sure it'll crash any minute now.
This is Brent coming to you live <laughs> from his Mac playing Flash. In wow, that's in a browser. I didn't even have to. I don't even have to buy the app. This is something kind of like these Pro Tools and other stuff. Wow. All right. Well, obviously. This didn't do it, but uh, they have another app that's kind of cool. So I've heard. I mean, hey, this one, it's a video. Let's actually go into it. They're showing this wicked little cat. Look at that. That is wicked. How could she do that to that poor cat? Well, I mean, it's kind of like a Photoshop editor or something. I can change, I can, I got layers, wow, that is pretty wicked, all in a browser, I didn't realize they could do that, huh, all right, well then of course there's uh, Major League Baseball and everybody knows it's a, it's an iPad app, right, you got to pay $14.99 for it, but here I've got the experience on my browser and uh, they've got this cool MLB.tv demo and uh, let's see what that's about. The state of the art video experience for everything baseball. Get exclusive access to every Adam Market wow. live on your computer in HD quality. Only MLB that is really cool. I like choice of home or away I like it. Simply click on your but it's gonna crash my browser. Here I am and I mean I'm on a Mac. Come on. Flash will kill your Mac. So the other thing I wanted to show is there's this website called the FWA, and uh, it's the favorite website award. And there's tons of Flash websites. Really, any one of these will kill your browser in a second. But uh, let's see. There's this one. This one has some 3D stuff. 3D, man, that'll kill your browser. Check it out. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, Flash, you know, for the experience that it is, you just never know if your browser's gonna crash. Like, one minute you'll be, you'll have like five or six tabs open, and the next thing you know, it's gonna crash. But uh, hopefully we'll find out. That's pretty cool. Examine the artifacts. Oh, look at that. Wow, that is cool. Carter referred to the first of the four rooms that make up Tutankhamun's Oh wow, they tomb got a little antechamber. guide. Over five thousand objects were found. A very British the accent. The ancient Egyptians believed that, that is the cool. afterlife was very much like well, everyday life in Egypt. Yeah, I don't know, man. There it is. So uh, you know, whatever flash you you watch on your Mac, good luck with that. And I uh, hope it doesn't crash your browser. Don't call me fat. Of course I got a double chin. I'm a developer. I sit on my butt 10 hours a day. What do you expect? Yeah. <laughs>